Hello everyone very good morning and good evening welcome to the game of high flyers and in our today's success story with the game of high flyers we have i have with me bhushan bhushan babat before i welcome bhushan on the show let me give you a quick uh, feedback that what we are talking about today so bhushan came to us and he has done a sourcing and procurement training with us he has he is pursuing the ewm training and he is starting with the ariba training and recently he completed his certification on uh, sourcing and procurement uh, sap certification and he also completed his sap certification on ewm so i thought it would be a good point a lot of uh, students comes to me sir i want to get it certified whether i would be able to clear it or not people has a lot of certification related questions so i thought that if you would be doing this uh, uh success story people it will be helping people uh uh to uh it would be helping people to know about uh, what happens in the certification and how they can clear the certification okay so with that i would be welcoming bhushan babat on our show welcome bhushan thanks a lot thank you parminder so bhushan as i told that uh, first congratulations you have cleared your sourcing and procurement and ewm certification so that's a milestone congratulations for that thanks 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 a lot no uh, to uh, idea about a quick this uh, game of high flyers was to you know motivate people and to let them know that if they are preparing for the certifications what kind of things they need to do it so that they would be able to get the certification clear so you have done the certification in sourcing and procurement as a piece as for hana sourcing and procurement and you have done the certification in ewm so uh, you can quickly share your experience feedback that what was your experience about the certification how you prepared it what kind of things helped you to clear the certification or if there is anything which you worked on it but you find that no it's not helping for the certification preparation that would be helping viewers a lot so if you can share your thoughts yeah uh, uh first i gave the certification of sourcing and procurement and later after one month uh, after two months i gave the certification of ewm so what i came to how i prepared is that uh, uh, as i was i have registered to sastra bhi Uh, there is a certification module uh, where the 40 marks question and 80 marks question is there before giving the certification you have to have a basic knowledge of uh, what what you are doing actually so mm-hmm. this basic knowledge i went through it uh, means i was uh, doing this course uh, at uh, sastra gate so uh, knowing the uh, having a knowledge practicing on it is a one track and giving the certification is a second track uh, if you are if you are, if you try to be a perfectionist then you will not give the exam at all but uh, once you have decided no i have to give simultaneously then i uh, then you f- start focusing on the exam questions because don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest sap videos i have, i have gathered all the questions from all the sources uh, like from sastra week 40 marks questions and 80 marks question banks then there was a google then there are too many uh, question uh, too many uh, resources available for the on the google net from which you will get a uh, questions questions uh, which will appear on the exam so for uh, appearing or for the preparation of uh, for the preparation of certification uh, you can say round not a thumb rule but there will be a maximum 400 to 500 questions which you have to practice it and you have to do this daily practice means when i decided no i have to uh, give the exam by next uh, by next month on this and this day so mm-hmm. i uh, i was not prepared at all but i decided uh, today is uh, 16th of december i have to give the exam on the 16th of january so accordingly i started preparing or gathering questions and doing the practice session daily for the 3 hours uh, there uh, there was a 40 marks question bank in at uh, sastra greek and 80 question 80 marks question bank in the sastra greek so daily uh, i uh, give i started giving the practice session for 40 marks to uh, 40 marks and to 80 marks and likewise i gathered all the questions once uh, i went through all the question banks at the end of the day i went through all the questions and i started writing down all the questions questions mm-hmm. as well as the correct answers so likewise i cracked the first exam with 75 marks sourcing and procurement at the same uh, once i uh, cracked the this certification of sourcing and procurement i got a enough confidence uh, then mm-hmm. 
then I went through the proper basic knowledge or all the uh, this uh, EWM course sessions, and then I prepared for the second exam. Uh, but of course, simultaneously while doing the second exam, I was uh, I did not uh, I did not uh, uh, focus. I did not lose my focus on practicing sourcing and procurement. That because that track you do not you cannot miss it because mm -hmm. on that uh, you will get a uh, that was a main uh, main uh, uh, main track. Mm -hmm. Right. So few things which Bhushan said I would like to highlight it, which I also tell. First and most important. First thing he did, he put it a deadline. Nothing works without deadline. Believe me, I, I have done almost uh, seven to eight certification in SAP and uh, PMP certification and different things I've done. Everything started with the deadline where I said that, okay, I went into the portal, I booked the date. Okay, this is the date, maybe three weeks, one week, one month, two months. I'm giving my certification on that date. And that date should not change whether you are prepared or not. You need to take that this is a final exam of board exam, the date does not change based on your preparation, right? And you need to give that. So deadline is very important. That's what Pushan has mentioned. Now, every people who wants to prepare it, first thing they need to do is put the deadline. Second thing is he, from the videos or from the trainings, he already know the basic stuff of sourcing and procurement. And he said very rightly, these are two different things. Getting working on SAP or uh, in a real scenario and cracking a certification because in certification, a lot of questions would be asked which is uh, you might not be never working into when you're working into uh, implementation or as a consultant. And a lot of theoretical questions would also be asked, which you need to refer to it, right? So certification is something different. You need to prepare a little bit special for the certification. If you are, even though I have seen the people working on eight years, 10 years sourcing and procurement as a consultant, and uh, they got some code or from the company, they go, okay, you can give a free attempt, you can go ahead. They just straight away sit into the exam. 80% people failed. Even 10 years of consulting experience in MM or sourcing and procurement, 80% people failed. Because there are some specific questions which you have never worked in the consulting career or theoretical question, you'll have to go through it. You have to practice this, you have to prepare it. So we have a question bank which has been given, but the right way is training, question bank, and then do the analysis also. So, Abhushan, I have a two quick question. Have you gone through the certification books also, the SAP standard books? Yes, yes. I went through those books also. So, what was the strategy? You were, you started from the books from starting till end or you was working on a question and then you was not finding it out what is the logic behind it. Then we uh, switched to the book. What what was the logic? Uh, no, no, no. I started simultaneously. Once uh, the certification book means uh, I did not go through a third means uh, uh, simultaneously, I was doing the question banks also because uh, if you uh, if you think means if you decide to go uh, uh, at the end uh, till uh, till the end of this uh, SAP certification and then you will switch over to the question banks, it takes a lot of times. Uh, so uh, focusing on the question banks, question papers, and uh, having uh, suppose if you do not understand that questions, then go to the SAP certification course and find out it. That. that was right. my strategy. Exactly, the same strategy I tell to everyone. Same strategy I also follow. You know, every if you have given the papers, board papers, college papers, we do all all the years we do the study study. But when the exam days come, when you're near to exam, you try to check that what are the last year questions which was asked and then do the preparation according to that so that you are on track. So a lot of places, I also do exactly the same thing in my 15, 18 years of consulting career. I have worked on the different modules. So I have an overview knowledge on all of the modules. But if I want to crack the certification, I don't go through the books. The big, big books, if you try to complete them first, it, they are so lengthy books that 70% of the audience, they start with the books and they were never able to finish the books because they are so lengthy and big books. So the approach which we suggest, once you have a basic knowledge on the module, go through the questions. Each question, you try to think whether you are able to correlate with the right answer or not. If you are not getting the subject knowledge on that, based on that question, do the Google search or jump into the books for that particular topic so that you have a quick read of the topic and then uh, making sure you know the right answer. With that approach, not only you are preparing for certification, but you would also be having a knowledge on that particular subject area on which the question has been asked. So you are gaining, gaining the knowledge and you're also preparing for certification simultaneously. That's that's a very good approach. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest SAP videos. 
So Bushin, I think I think that's a good thing. Uh, one more quick question I would like to ask. Uh, once you gave the first certification, you got the free attempt. One more free attempt, you got it, right? Correct. So if you just explain the people how this happened, whether you got an email or what notification you got it so that uh, people also check if they are booked for the first certification and if they have cleared, uh, what is the SAP communication to communicate about you for the free attempt? Uh, once you log in, uh, the answer to answer the answer of this question is that once you log into your uh, this SAP login uh, training .sap .com, then you will find uh, uh, once you have cracked the uh, first attempt, then you will have it uh, it appears that you have one more option, and then you can register at at any time. Uh, means uh, as I got a free attempt uh, after this, there were two attempts. Uh, so then uh, it appears that one more attempt is remaining. And then you can log in at any time because it is valid for the one year only. Mm -hmm. uh, one year is too big, 12 months. You can give any time. Mm -hmm. uh, so it appears and then you you have to, uh, as per your preparation of the exam uh, certification, you can uh, uh, book the appointment for the next certification okay, by logging good. into the training, SAP training. Okay, that's good. Now, uh, one quick uh, question uh, that... Uh, uh, so you have gone through the trainings also, right? Sastra Geek trainings, sourcing procurement, EWM. Uh, uh, what is your experience from the trainings? How these trainings help you out? Uh, it was a fantastic experience because the most important and most advantageous part I found from the Sastra Geek solution is that all the recordings are available from the past. So uh, if a person is not able to focus on the uh, during the live or uh, sometimes what happens uh, during the live sessions, we think for something else. Uh, then uh, while practicing, uh, you can uh, again uh, open that uh, recorded session, stop it, then go to the server uh, because you have the server access also. Go to the server, do the transactions, again come back to the uh, alt, alt tab, again come to the training session. So recording is a, such a nice uh, feature of the Sastra uh, training part and as well as the faculties are also very nice. Mr. Parminder is an excellent person uh, as a trainer because he uh, he makes sure that your all the concepts will be clear. And the concept clearing part is a very important part uh, from future point of uh, also and while uh, practicing also. Okay, that's good. I'm very happy to hear that, Bhushan, that whatever the things I tell to the people, you are following exactly all the things. I always tell to the people that you need to go with a combination of instructor-led plus self praise Instructor-led gives you some motivation, make you into the discipline. But after all, you need to go through back to the videos because some part in the instructor-led session also you missed. In the practicing, you need to go back and check check the video, pause it and do the practice. Practicing is also very important. Doing into the server, that also you're doing. I think that's that's very important. So what's the game plan? What's the next thing you're focusing on? Uh, uh, currently, I'm focusing on the sourcing and procurement. Uh, I will be focusing on the that area uh, for the future. And uh, to get a job in that uh, sourcing procurement, as well as I'm focusing on the Ariba means I have simultaneously started EWM. Uh, I have enrolled for the EWM and as well as Ariba also. Uh, so this EWM and Ariba and mainstream is sourcing and procurement. Sure. So what addition I will uh, give it to you that also focus on SAP job and mastery. Okay. So uh, simultaneously do SAP job and mastery maybe 30 minutes uh, per day, but also focus on job and mastery. That would be very important. That would be helping you to get the new opportunities, get the new jobs. Okay, so that's added into your, uh, the future goals. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. So Bhushan, it was a great conversation with you. I'm very happy that you came for this conversation. And I'm also uh, sure that the people who are listening, who uh, aspirants who wants to get the certification cleared in the sourcing and procurement or into the EWM area, they would be getting some insights from this talk and then they would be able to prepare themselves better for the certifications. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest SAP videos. So thank you. Thank you, Bhushan, for showing up and sharing your thoughts. Thank you. Thank you, Parminder. Thank you very much. All the listeners, uh, thank you for listening to this video. We will be coming back with our next Game of Fireflyer episode very soon. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching today. Bye-bye.